This is my prediction. It's a folded playing card with a paper clip on it, and I took this card from another deck of cards, actually about a day and a half ago. Took it out, folded it up from another deck, and put a paper clip on it. From this second deck, I'm going to have you select a playing card. I'm going to give the cards a bit of a shuffle, a bit of a cut. Let's say right about uh, there. And go ahead, grab one. And let's imagine the person goes in, grabs a card, in this case, the seven of diamonds. I say, do me a favor, put your signature on the card, and the person does. Unfortunately, because the person has a stutter, they sign the first half of their name many times. Having done that, I say, okay, well, let me ask you a little bit of a, uh, a mathematical question here. This card is from another pack. What are the odds that it is also a set of diamonds? What's the mathematical probability that this card is also a seven diamonds? What are the odds? And uh, sometimes they know, sometimes they don't know. I say, actually, the odds are one in 52. With the jokers, of course, it's overall one in 54. With the paperclip off, I want you to see that my prediction is actually very close to the card you selected. In fact, it is also a seven of diamonds. But what makes my prediction totally crazy is the fact that it's not just any seven of diamonds. It's your seven of diamonds. Which I think you'll agree makes no sense at all. Paper clipped begins as a very straightforward mental effect, a classic prediction. But it ends as a mind-bending magic effect. And yet the performer has still fulfilled the premise of his original prediction, sort of. Things feel like they have come full circle, but considering the folded card has remained in full view from the very beginning, it's also as if things have gone nowhere. Nothing has changed. Instead, things have only been revealed. So, the underlying sense of the experience being circular is not shattered, but deepened. From the start, the performer undeniably establishes that the selection and the prediction are two separate things. But at the end of the effect, that space-time distinction collapses. And yet, it all still feels like it makes sense. It's a paradox as lean and as sharp as a razor. There is a duality, a two-sidedness to the paperclip effect that makes it especially powerful. It reminds me of a two-car transposition. As the climax registers, the spectator's mind jumps one way towards a possible explanation of the effect, but hits a dead end. The mind then jumps in the opposite direction, again in hopes of a possible explanation, but hits another dead end. This experience results in a total shutdown of the puzzle-solving process. Only the emotional reaction and the verbal expressions remain. Only awe. Nothing else.